Hello and welcome to another session on triangles. In this session, we are going to discuss another very important theorem related to triangles, and that is called external bisector theorem, guys. Okay, external bisector theorem, which says that the external bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite sides externally in the ratio of it should be side actually divides the externally opposite side externally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle first of all i will try and explain what does this mean and you have already seen the validation in the previous part of the video so the given condition is this what is given condition the conditions which are given is conditions which are there is given i have not mentioned the point e here so let me uh, okay yeah so this point is e let's say this point is e the condition which is given is that angle cad is equal to angle dae all of you now know what is external angle of our triangle you know that this entire thing is the external angle there are six external angle possible this is one angle which we are talking about and in and this cae which is external angle cad let me call it x and a uh, ead let me also call this as x so these are equal angles we have to prove that what do we need to prove to prove we need to prove that uh, like in the internal angle theorem ab or let me write in the correct order so order of writing also becomes helpful so ba upon ac you can see how i am writing ba and then c so ba upon ac is bd upon dc so if you notice how did i write a across like that right and then this b is b c and c right the so writing also becomes little you know so when you write in particular order it becomes convenient to remember the theorem as well so ba so basically i'm going like that ba then coming like that ac and similarly here it goes till d and then comes back to c right so this is how you please remember like that okay so this is what is the theorem now we have to prove it so let me just uh remove all these unwanted structure so here it is bd by dc okay hope it is clear now again you see there are uh, some you know ratios which we are talking about okay so what do we do then uh, we know that if there is a ratio or some ratios are involved including the sides of a triangle then somehow we can use basic proportionality theorem or the converse of it so where we need a triangle and need a parallel line the parallel line divides the given triangle in a given you know the uh, divides the sides containing the parallel line in a particular ratio we know that so this is what was vpt let me just quickly discuss uh the vpt so this was basic proportionality theorem there is a line so ad upon ac is ae upon sorry this was b and this is c so this was given that d is parallel to bc then uh, 1 is to 2 right is x is to y right this is what we had learned okay so we are going to use that so for that i need some parallel line kind of structure here so what do i do uh, and uh, bc and cd should be involved right so d so you are seeing the common points are a and d and there's one point c here so don't you think if i draw a line parallel like that so let me construct CF and CF is parallel to AD. Okay, so what is the construction? Construction. Construction is construction is CF parallel to AD drawn. Right? This is what we did. Okay, now how is it going to help? Let's see. Now, the moment I say CF is parallel to AD, now let's go to prove what can we say. CF is parallel to AD in triangle BAD, right? CF is parallel to AD. Therefore, I can say BC upon CD, right? Or we can actually use the corollary instead of writing BC upon CD. 
which all do we need we need bd right so we need bd first so bd upon dc will be bd upon dc corollary of B bpt we are saying so this whole by this will be equal to this whole by this isn't it so hence we can say bd upon dc is equal to ba ba upon fa ba upon fa clear no problem this is by bpt now let me just take away this you all know what bpt is so let me now talk about triangle now if you see uh, cf is parallel to ad therefore can i not say that um, this angle would be x so angle f c a is equal to angle c a d and what are they they are nothing but alternate interior angles since cf is parallel to ad right similarly can i not say that um what else yeah so this angle is also going to be x isn't it why because corresponding angles therefore similarly we can say angle afc will be equal to angle ead and why is that cf is parallel to ad and they are corresponding angles corresponding angles i'm writing in short form right so that means in triangle afc in triangle afc what happens af is equal to ac why because opposite sides to equal angle if you look closely afc afc is a isosceles triangle isn't it and why are we doing all of this because see in this particular ratio i got bd by dc so bd by dc is the rhs of what is to be proved and on the lhs of here we have ba by fa so here ba is already available we just need to prove somehow that fa is ac so we have to just prove that this part fa is equal to this part ac and that means these two angles have to be same right so your opposite angles which i have shown as x must be same which actually is true because cf was parallel to ad so hence if you see the reverse order we could prove that we could prove that um triangle afc is afc is isosceles why because fca was equal to cad and afc was equal to ead and all of them were equal to x isn't it so hence afc happens to be isosceles triangle the moment afc is isosceles i can say therefore af is equal to ac right opposite sides to which anyways i have written earlier as well so therefore this let it be 1 and this let it be 2 so from 1 and 2 you can see we can write bd by dc is equal to ba upon ac right b a upon ac and that is what we need to prove so hence proved right so this is what our target was we had to prove b a by ac is equal to b d by dc which is proved here right so remember this theorem right so if uh, an external angle is bisected right then the angle bisector divides the opposite side in the uh divide the opposite side externally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle okay this is what is external angle bisector theorem